All right, guys, it's been a while. I've kind of shown some pictures and videos of this truck, but haven't done a full dedicated video to it on what it is. Uh, so this is my dad's red black 7.3. There's freaking bugs right here chasing after me. Um, this is the whole reason why I, I like trucks, why I've always wanted to do the YouTube channel, build trucks. This truck is the reason. My dad has owned this since I was, I want to say seven, so 21 years, if my math's correct. Um, this truck is a 7.3. He bought it bone stock, 82,000 miles on it. And he turned it into, or I should say we, and all our full team and him and everybody else turned it into what it is today. So basically it started as a base red truck. It's a Lariat from the factory. It was completely stock uh, for six or seven years. We ran a GTP 38R in the Valley with, with 230 hybrids, a regulated return and a built trans. And we didn't touch it for seven years ish. Uh, 130,000 miles on that setup. The only reason why we changed initially from that setup was because we thought that the injectors were bad. So if we were going to upgrade the injectors, we we're going to upgrade the turbo. And this time it was like three, four, five, four ish years ago. And uh, that was like the time when we were starting to figure everything out. We found the T4 kits and everything else. So we decided to go bigger with the setup. Well, once we did this setup, engine wise, we had the same problem. It ended up to be an IDM. Uh, oh, geez. Big, dumb, stupid on us, but you live and you learn. So you can come over here and check this out. So what we've got in here right now, this is also a temporary setup, but it's been one that's ran for about three years. Uh, it blew the motor up with this setup on it, threw a rod out the side of the block. It's got a 369 non-VGT in the valley. Uh, it's got dual Terminator H-pops. It's got 250-100 hybrids from full force. Uh, don't hate or love full force. We had one bad rod at the box a couple times from a couple different trucks, so... I now own these holders for my injectors, but they're still going good, so I can't hit them that much. So, uh, three, like I said, 369, 250-100s, still the same regulator return, dual H-pops, but it now has a stage two Colt cam. Uh, Brian Crower forged rods, good for about 1,600 horsepower. Uh, full machined and custom girdle. Uh, it's got speed of air pistons in it, coated with the dimples in it, look kind of like a golf ball, help with heat. Um, if you are looking to do speed of air pistons or coated pistons or anything i would suggest against coated pistons unless you're going to make really really high horsepower because they do smoke white until they get hot and warm up so um but they work great the truck's super quiet for a 7.3 so that's the setup on the engine wise um as far as the front end goes it's had the 05 front end swap this bumper and this grill since 06 my dad did it right away he did the 08 bumper right when it came out and that tailgate so but now we repainted this Harley grill. We did red, uh, red in the center with black on the outside. The two-tone emblems. We did the custom Vision X light bar. It's half orange, half white. Uh, we did the 17 plus balance like we always in all these trucks. Color matched everything top to bottom. We even went as far as to go with the red under the hood. Uh, with the black on the outside. It gives it a nice contrast when you open the hood and see something different. Uh, we painted all the, all the bracketry in the front of the motor red as well. Uh, you can see as we always go with our, our guys at Axe Wheels. Um, these are 24 by 12. I believe they're 6.1s, uh, compression forged. They have the uh, floating center caps. So that looks great. Hold on. I'd be giving my code. <laughs> we'll just cut that out. So floating no, center caps. No, leave it in there. Um, these are brushed. So I'm a really, really big polished wheel guy. Now, I didn't used to be, but I am. I really like the way it looks on darker colored trucks, even light colored trucks too, but it's got to be the right setup. So with the brush look, we can get similar to that near finish and that bright wheel, but without all the upkeep. This is clear coated. So this literally, you, it gets dirty, you wipe it, it comes clean. This is just some tape from when it used to be on, I gotta wipe that off. Um, but that's what I love about those. Uh, we went with red and black S350 emblems on the side. I do have the Power Stroke ones for the side to match. I just haven't put them on yet. Uh, 2019 year upgrade, where we color match these, black on the bottom, red on the top. I wasn't sure about it when I did it initially because the top of the truck is black, but I really like the way it looks with the contrast. Uh, we take the two lines off so the blinkers and everything show through there still so they look really good. Uh, like I said, the truck's been red and black for a while now. Um, we did the traction bars, which I didn't clean, but the traction bars are all red. The front suspension's all red. It's got the PMF coil buckets up front for the upgraded CNC ones. Um, you did the windshield wipers red up top. So... 
that's kind of what's going on underneath. It's still got a lot of oil under there from when the motor blew up on the side of Vantage and shot the rods out the side of the block. So good this, times. This truck, this truck has always had dual exhaust. It's one of the only ones I've seen around uh, with dual exhaust. We got the Alpha Rex tail lights, the Alpha Rex headlights. Back here we have basically what you would see as an entire 08 to 10 rear end. Now the tail lights are 08 to 16. The bumpers 08 to 16. The tailgates 08 to 10. So you got your two tone gate. Here where it breaks in the handle, we even went into enough definition to get that little line in the part of the handle. Two-tone uh, emblem as well. With the tail lights, it just looks absolutely amazing. Now, uh, for the interior of this truck, it's not finished yet, it's in process, but it is 2016 Lariat leather, um, full front and back. Uh, we are eventually gonna change the color of the dash. Uh, we got a steering wheel for it, we've got a headliner for it, and we do have door panels for it. So these are actually uh, Amarillo or a Larry Outlaw door panel because we do have a set of black and red Larry Outlaw seats that went with this and this will be changed black. So this whole thing will be black as well. But I wanted to show you guys some videos of this thing ripping, um, showing you how it moves, how fast it is and everything else with this single setup on it because we are going compounds on this 7.3 as well. It is going to have same engine build, same injectors, 250-100s, but it is now going to have a uh, bullseye dual NLX ball bearing turbo in the valley. It's a 468. Uh, so 400 series, turbo, bigger shaft, stronger, moves more air. And it's a 68 millimeter inducer. Above that, or I should say next to that with a super dope custom compound kit, is going to be an 85, a 485 bullseye turbo journal bearing as well. So with that setup, I'm hoping, again, you guys know I don't like dirty running trucks. So I'm hoping with that setup, we will clean up all the fuel this thing has uh, and make it run clean. It'll have tons of power, tons of torque. It'll still be able to tow even with that big, big and crazy of a setup because it's a 7.3. It's a huge cubic inch motor. They absolutely love moving air. So, I was going to say, how well did it do with the 38R and hybrids? Great. Great for years. It made, it, with, the, with the GTP 38R and the 230s and just a, back when adrenaline H pops were good, now they suck. We had just an adrenaline H pop and it made 434 to the tire and 1178 foot pounds of torque. So, Seven days of torque monsters. Right now, I would assume with the setup we have, we should be somewhere in the 560 to 585 range. If we want to be realistic, everybody wants to lie about numbers. I'm being legit. Probably right around the 570 range with this truck the way it is now. Uh, with the compounds, we're hoping to push 700 uh, and a very clean 700. So that's the plan for it. A usable 700. Exactly. A truck you can hop in and drive anywhere, do whatever you want with it. Everything's going to be V-band on the whole compound kit. So there's no more blowing boots and everything like that. Uh, it should be super duper legit. So that's the plan with this one. Um, but we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up. We'll go get some videos of this thing ripping around and show you what it does. It's my truck too. Yeah. I'm smoking out my own truck. All right, guys, we're in the 7.3. Uh, I don't know how well you can hear us if the window's down, but jeez, that thing sounds nasty behind us. Whose truck is that? I don't know. Some douchebag guy. Uh, anyways, we're going to show you a little bit of uh, what kind of power it has and whatnot um, before we go ahead and end up tearing it down to do the compounds and a few more things on it, like do some head stuff and whatnot. So, um, as you can see from a stop, we're in Mexico and just so everybody's clear here. So just like, this is like light throttle, nothing, nothing crazy. Pretty quick for I mean, I'm not going to be the half throttle guy, but that definitely was nowhere near wide open. So pretty quick setup. Um, I would not suggest running this setup if you're on stock bottom end. It might be okay for a while if you're a forged rod motor guy, uh, 01, early 01 and previous uh, with the forged rods might be pretty good, but this setup blew up this motor now. We don't think that's why, it, there's a whole story behind why it blew up, but we don't think that's what blew up this motor. So um but this thing's pretty fun it's pretty rowdy uh but mainly it's a very smoky setting so let's get kind of here smoke them no we're, smoke them we're basically trying to clean up how dirty this thing runs with the compound so i don't know what they're looking for they're doing something um but yeah no it's a ripper it's super fun to drive it's it's actually pretty quick it probably takes five years. <laughs> wow, 
But uh, yeah, she's cool. You guys want to see that Ernie truck disappear? Wait, I didn't get a good video doing it. Where'd your truck go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? So anyways, we want to clean that up because it's disgusting. It's horrible to drive when you actually get in it. Uh, but it's fun. It's a fun truck to drive for sure. So when like mannerism wise, it drives like a stock truck. Uh, it still tows the 369 and 250-100s. It's kind of got to keep an eye on EGTs uh, if you're running in a, in a hot Doug McQuaid file, which he doesn't even do these anyways, but <laughs> this is Brad McQuaid. Brad. Actually, this is Brad. But no, she's pretty fun. We'll uh, give a little rip here. Listen to it, the turbo. <laughs> it's, pretty, it's pretty fun. It's going to be way, way crazier uh, with, the, uh, with the compounds, but for now, this is what I can do for you. I can't do any crazy wide open throttle pulls because we do have a piston to valve clearance issue. Uh, so that's one of the reasons it's coming back apart. Um, Ford told us that they had sold us a new set of heads with new castings and they did not. They sold us a set of welded and machined heads which mess with our uh, clearances there. Now we should have checked our clearances, but you know, you know how the stuff gets when you're building you know, three, four, five, six trucks at a time. So it's fun. It's got firing heads in it right now, so it's a pretty good ripper. So, like I said, if you are a 94 and a half power stroke guy to uh, early 01, I would not be terrified to run this setup. Uh, it does pretty well. Uh, definitely makes it so your 7.3 is not gutless and the yeah. biggest turd in the Run world. Run this setup if you're a man. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. I mean, it's it, a man. It moves. It, it beats a lot of things. Um, a lot of things, especially keep, the keep, burgundy truck. It does right not there. beat the burgundy truck, but it keeps up with the burgundy truck. No, it definitely beats. Look, look how far the burgundy truck is behind. <laughs> <laughs> so it definitely keeps up. So this is a great setup. Um, what I would recommend for most guys, whether you're forged rod motor or powdered rod motor, uh, I think one of the best setups is going to be uh, 230 hybrids like this had. With a non-BGT, maybe hold the camera straight. There you go. Maybe do one thing at a time. With a non-BGT 66 setup, and it was a phenomenal ride. Uh, we did that. Um, way too much injector for a 66, but it was still fun. So that's really it for this video, guys. Uh, we are going to get this thing into the shop, pull the cab off of it, get the heads off. We have a different set of heads down there already, get the machine and everything. Uh, we just got to put the stage two comp cam v uh, valve springs on that truck or onto those heads and then we'll get videos of putting it together with the compounds and everything else so it's going to be a hundred percent legit one-off compound kit should be pretty sick so stay tuned we'll see you guys next time uh please subscribe like follow share comment all of it so we can do this stuff full time